The time has finally come. It's been over a year since we said we were gonna sell this van and well, after we took our last big road trip, now is the time. We're selling our beloved van. So, if you didn't know, I'm Chase. And I'm Maria Jose. And this is our van, Chevere. After traveling in it for almost three years, we did some renovations, updated it, and we are gonna give you a tour and explain all the updates we did before you're able to buy it. I will say the listing for this van has just gone live as well. It's gonna be linked in the description. Mm -hmm. We're also having a one-time only flash sale yep. on the layout, so if you're just not ready or in the position to uh, buy, buy a van, van. <laughs> you can um, get the biggest discount that's ever been offered, but you gotta act fast because every time someone, someone buys it. <laughs> it, it increases in price just a little bit. So, and they're only, um, a handful limited quantity yeah, available so all of that's in the description but let's hop into uh into our van and show you uh everything that we've done and why we love it so much and why we're so excited to see its journey continue on with potentially one of you all i have to say i'm kind of jealous because the van looks even better than and before. it works so much better than before so let's show you what we did the van is essentially exactly the same van they're just things that we really wanted while we were traveling and we just waited until like two weeks ago to finally implement them into the build so some of them are design choices like we've uh, lined everything in this beautiful poplar that's stained and then we've also added things like uh, outdoor powers. When we were traveling in this, we were outside all the time and sometimes we were just lounging around with friends and we wanted to do things like watch a movie, uh, charge our phones, use our laptop working outside without having to worry about our batteries dying. And well, we never really had an option other than just running ugly extension cords. Um, so we added uh, this neat little fella here that uh, you can plug in four 110 plugs. You can do USBs as well as USB-C. So it's just one of those ways to bring uh, the outside in or the in outside and uh, really just make life on the road a little bit simpler. So that's one of the things that we did. It was like the first upgrade, if you will, uh, that we made to the van, but uh, that's it. So let's move inside. And it would be blasphemous of me to try and explain the kitchen because I very rarely ever did anything here in the kitchen. I mostly just made lattes and well, the espresso machine unfortunately is not coming with the van so you'll need to provide your own. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera and turn it over to Maria Jose so she can explain the updates here. If you guys know me, you know I love cooking and the kitchen area is one of my favorite places in the whole van because I designed it to make sense and have a nice flow. Some of the things that I already love that are in the van if you hadn't seen a tour before is our pantry. This is like a must. So much space and it worked great while we were on the road so that had to stay. Another feature that we love, we have a hidden cabinet for our trash can. Before in the bus we used to have a bag everywhere and it was right in the middle so having a specific place for our trash can was a must as well. We have tons of storage everywhere. So we have upper cabinets, we have drawers, some of the changes we did in here are a little bit more aesthetic, like we refinished all of our cabinets. They're all white now. They're super easy to wipe and they match so much better with the floor. And we stained the countertops, which means that makes the countertops step up a little bit more. Before we didn't have the stained countertops and they were getting dirty and they were not looking as new and sealing them was the right move because now they look brand freaking new and now when you're cooking you don't have to worry about like having to clean it right away so that's one of my favorite things right here we also have fresh water tank 46 gallons we have drinkable water which we have a filter underneath our sink back here it's one of 
the new changes we did to the van and that is our gas stove we used to have all electrical and it worked for a very long time and still worked but we were a little bit more worried now this time around when we travel with our baby because you know she has like bottle warmers and things that we're using our batteries more so we wanted to like take that part away and just give a peace of mind to the next owner so we fill up our tank which is located in the last drawer it's a five pound propane tank super small we fill it up for three bucks it's probably gonna last about three months you don't have to worry about it and also I personally prefer cooking in a gas, gas stove so much more than an electrical. The electrical took forever to heat up and boil things, so it was not very efficient for a van. So from the very beginning, we designed this van to be storage centric. We wanted tons of storage space for food, for cooking utensils, for what gear we wanted to bring on the road, but we also wanted storage for our clothing and our belongings. So initially, this set of drawers was our wardrobe. It was three really tall and deep drawers, and what we found is no matter what locks we put on them while we were traveling with our things in it, they would somehow eventually manage to make their way out. So what we did is we kept this still as a really fantastic wardrobe space. We added a fourth drawer and by doing that we've shortened all of the other drawers so they're not nearly as heavy. They won't be nearly as heavy now when you have uh, your belongings in them as well but uh, we kept all of the design uh, the same. All of our cabinets have brand new poplar faces as well as finishing on them uh, is poplar as well. They're on drawer locks, so it's gonna be really difficult for them to be uh, opening up while you're traveling. And they're very, very, sturdy as rose had mentioned we changed all of the hardware she was not the only one who was ripping clothes and regularly catching themselves uh, stuck to the hardware so the smooth bevel um, on these drawer pools is is great and i really love the gold color uh, it just really uh, harmonizes and balances all of the other wood tones and uh, and kind of browns and grays that we have going on here in the van Above we have uh, what could be utilized as a wardrobe or the way that we utilized it was for all of our toiletries because we are directly across from our shower. And just to touch base on that really quickly, this is a full wet bath. It's tiled on uh, all three sides that you can see. We have a nature's head composting toilet that stays in the bathroom. Uh, you're more than welcome to take it out to use the shower if you'd like, but you can also use it as a seat. It's totally fine to be in the shower while it's operating. Up here we have a Nebbia by Moen Quattro handheld shower. This is by far my favorite addition that we ever made to the van. My opinion, it's the best shower head that you could possibly have in a van, um, an RV or even a home. It's very low flow, but it's very high pressure. So it gives you like that spa-like sensation. And then everything is kind of wrapped together by this hidden shower door. This is a Nautilus by Stoit, self-retractable, self-cleaning shower door. You can't see through it. It's really easy. You don't get stuck to it like your curtains do. And you might notice there's a little bit of changes back here. And truthfully, I wonder why we didn't do this before. Because it makes so much more sense. So before when we you walk up here, you had to step on a big step. It, which wasn't a problem for me because I'm 5'2", so I still have some wiggle room but this was chase's uh, cabinet and he had to be like this to be able to access to it so one day i came and chase had took our step out and that's where we had our fresh water tank and he flipped it so now the van first of all is so much more balanced than before and now you have all this room for activities when your bed is down your dog could sleep underneath it and now it's so much more comfortable when you're sitting in the sofa your legs are not raised up we also stay in the table which is in a lagoon mount which means you can move it around get it closer move it away and you can completely remove it as well 
as we mentioned it before storage is very important for us so we have tons underneath the sofa the long way and also the little sofa over there so you still can access to that and put as many things as you want in there we have a murphy bed and the bottom of the Murphy bed is where our TV is we have again tons of storage above me which we also use that for clothing and jackets and bulkier items right here it's also where we store our batteries so all the solar system is located underneath the Murphy bed it has a caning under it so it creates some flow still there's some airflow in there it's not gonna get too hot they can ventilate and you can remove it and access to your batteries and all your solar system as well and now let me show you how we go from living room mode to our bedroom go a modified full-size bed super comfortable in my opinion you have storage behind it which we also did a little bit of changes there we used to have just like a big cabinet here and it was like more wasted space truthfully so now having these you're able to put books or other important items for you we have a place for pillows and comforter and sheets and everything and right there you see a big hole that's where the clothing hamper goes so you get to like change up and just put your clothing there and that way you have a place for everything so in a small space this is key because if not it gets cluttered super quickly another feature that I really enjoy is when you are back here in the bed you don't have to get up to turn off your lights you have a light switch they controls all the lights on the ceiling. We also have an area for you to charge your phone or your electronics. One thing Marose did not mention is that there's so many new things on this van. We changed some of them because we just wanted to and then some of them kind of needed it as well. As a really nice segue from being in the bed, one way that we stay warm in colder environments is a diesel heater. And the worst thing you could ever do when you're cozy in bed is have to get up and turn the diesel heater on. So I've replaced the diesel heater with a brand new unit that has a remote control. So you can use the actual interface to turn it on or off, or you can keep this near your bed and turn it on or off, as well as adjust the output from this simple little remote, which is a huge deal. You may have noticed the big square spots on our roof and through our ceiling. Those are max air fans and we have two of them. Uh, we really only ever use one of them, but we'll keep both open if needed. And then our sliding door has a T vent window that we can open up and bring cool air in from the side as well. With the van, we're also including a set of Wonderful Co magnetic totally blackout insulated window curtains. That's like a $1,200 value. And that helps keep the van warm in very cool environments, but it also helps keep it very comfortable in hot environments as well. And then there's nothing better for stealth camping than having those up because you absolutely cannot see light coming from inside the van. And then that's not it. We also have more things in the back of the van to make it more comfortable. Starting with this little table that you can put up and work from the outside or if you're having friends over, you can have some drinks, play games, whatever, you name it. And it looks super cute whenever it's down and it looks like it's part of the aesthetic of the van. We replace our outside shower for something that is going to be fixed here. You're not gonna have to like put it up and down and find a place to put it in. It's a whole ordeal. So it's always there. It looks so much better. It's more efficient. And you have where you fill up your water tank, which that's always there. But something that we did add that I wish we had from the very beginning was this thing right here. It's so small, 
but it means so much it tells you how full or how empty is your water tank we used to have to like peek in it you still can do that you can open the cushions and look in the tank and see how full it is but you can rely on these and it also tells you how much battery you have and you can turn on and off your water pump so it's so much more convenient than having to go all the way to the front to figure it all out so it's all in one spot what marose did not mention though is that now you can take a shower out here without having to hold what was essentially a garden hose in our previous unit it had this like coil wrapped hose and it was literally like it was like a, a hose spigot hose thing that you had to hold and then release hold and then release so this is all metal construction here it's very heavy actually i was surprised uh, which i equate that to quality i've tested it out and the water flow and pressure on it is very very nice it's got quarter turn increments which is also really nice as well so while we're outside i just want to touch on a couple of things First off, we have privacy glass. It's all tinted all the way around the van with the exception of the windshield because that's just illegal. If you want that, add it after the fact. But we have a class four Kurt Hitch receiver here on the back. So if you need to tow something or if you want to bring like a bike rack or just whatever, you can do that. That's coming with the van. We recently installed it and really, really love it. And then you also have two little air spots down here. The rear, of this van is air suspension. We recently replaced the front struts as well with Bilstein struts. They are very nice and the ride is so tight and so much better than it ever was before. There's virtually no rock in this van, which is nice. And then on the side, our stripes are staying on the van. We didn't put any ats or whatever, so uh, the van is named Chevere. It is from our company, Tio Aventura. These are staying because we really just love the retro vibe uh, that comes with them. And then if we look up to the top, you'll notice that we've got exterior lighting. So we have this on both sides and we have some lights in the front as well that are controlled by a switch up in the driver's compartment. So if you're driving to a super dark and remote area or you hear something outside and you just wanna check it out a little bit better, you have dogs, you want some light while you're walking them at night, you can just turn those bad boys on with a switch and let there be light. Let's go see where the driving happens. This is your standard cockpit in any Mercedes Sprinter van. This was initially a cargo van, so you have the cargo van steering wheel. Our van is a 2016 Sprinter 2500. It is the three liter V6 diesel. We do have 260,000 miles on the odometer. And we also have a clean bill of health from Mercedes. We just had the van there a couple of months ago for some routine maintenance, as well as the emissions modification, which extends the emissions systems on this van, 200,000 additional miles. And they went through everything on Chevede. And the only thing that came back is that we had a brake wear sensor that was saying our brake pads needed replaced, but they also indicated the brake pads were brand new and everything was good there. So we recently replaced that and lo and behold, we have no lights on our dash, which is beautiful. In the, in the cockpit, we have a 13.6 inch Android infotainment entertainment system. The stock controls on it are not the prettiest. We just reset it, but you can always add launchers to it and add any app available on Android. We've got an automatic transmission, keyless entry. And she starts up like a dream every single time. For safety and security, we replaced the headlights with LED low beams as well as LED high beams. And when they are on, you can see where you're going. So that's amazing. We wanted a ton of functionality. We also wanted to use this as a comfortable space while we were driving. We needed storage, we needed light, but we also needed a way to monitor our solar batteries as well as charge things like our dash cam and all of that. So we have four USB uh, 3.0 plugs up top. We also have two map lights, if you will, even though we don't ever use them for maps, on a switch above the passenger seat. The passenger seat swivels around to open up all of this space. And then just like with any Sprinter, you've got 
storage and pockets and cup holders galore. So here at my leg is the switch that controls our gray and urine diverting tanks. They are on ball valves. So when you're in a facility that you can dump those, you can just easily access them. You also have controls to our yellow fog lights in the front, as well as both the left side and the right side exterior lights that I was talking about earlier. Something that we forgot to mention is all the safety features we have in the van. So we install a brand new carbon monoxide and LP gas detector, where it's very close to the door and also very close to where the actual gas tank is. So if there's any fumes, it's gonna get it. We have underneath the cabinets a smoke detector. So if by any chance there's something going on, the alarm is going to let you know. We have two fire extinguishers, one installed underneath the sink. So it's easy access in the van. And then we have one behind the driver's seat, just in case something happened while you are driving or if you're sitting here in the front, you can access to it really quickly. Well, friends, and that's it for all the tour of our van with all the old things that we had in it that we love, but also with all the updates, they're gonna make this van 10 times better for the next owner. And to be honest, the only reason that we're selling this van is because when we built it, we built it with the two of us in mind. Mm -hmm. And we've since had our daughter and we made it work for a little while, but we're really, really, really ready to build something with Isla in mind. So that's our plan. And we're so excited to see the adventures that this van goes on for the next many, many years and decades and all of that. So. Yes, I'm excited, but it's also like I said, part of our lives because we love this van so much and it took us to so many amazing places but it's time to pass it to someone who's gonna enjoy it and love it as much as we do if we forgot to mention anything or show anything please let us know in the comments we'll be responding and if you're not looking to buy this van maybe you have a van already and you're looking for a layout so check out our layout down below it's going to be in super sale and you're going to have all the info of how to put this van together but also you can borrow ideas from this van so share this video with someone that you think might love this van and we will see you soon amigos love you mm -hmm.